trails and, and also look over land that might be suitable for a state park. But this is not going to be a state park. <laughs> It'll be our park. So, uh, um, he, the, the area, one of the th other things that we've discovered out back is a couple of the trolley bridges that were made out of the granite blocks. And I didn't understand why, what the bridges were going over, so I had to ask my dad years ago. And they, <clears throat> because it was all farmland, when they established the trolleys, they had to make it accessible for the farmers to get their cattle from one side to the other safely. So they're only large enough for a cow <laughs> to go through. And so, um, they're, they're, well, they're falling in <clears throat> to some degree, but yeah. but they're not very big bridges, but they're all granite and it's really it's really kind of neat. And the one of the stations, and that's one of the pictures in here, <coughs> I'm happy to show, is one of the stations for the trolley was right behind the house, and we've kind of figured out where it was. Not totally, but um, it's kind of in between, because we built on one end of their land. So we're right there too kind of in between we think out back between the houses so um, it's very it's it's neat and it's neat to have the historic of them having bought it from grace oh I know I know what I wanted to say um, what did when did the maple trees they knew the maple trees out front those they, three yeah well uh, Alice Hayes who some of you might remember lived down on the lake and she told me one time that those trees had been there in 1810. So that's all I know. <laughs> but they're they're looking pretty pretty old now. <laughs> they're pretty big. They're, afraid they're going to blow down in some some storm. <laughs> all right. We we took on quite a job of going over the land and the things that we have there. <coughs> and at first, uh, we were just young parents with two children and one more on the way. And uh, we didn't have time to pay much attention to uh, fixing the place up to uh, study how it should be done. But Jan, with his engineering uh, background, was able to fill in a lot of the places and well we got baseboard hot water heat the first fall we were there <laughs> so that was really that was good on on the list of things to do and then um, I can't remember what the next big thing was but but we were always working it's on one room now. or another room <laughs> So. It was very neat though when they when they stripped down the horsehair plaster walls mm -hmm. and discovered the hand hewn beams. Mm -hmm. That's it, they're amazing. Some of them are are in really bad shape, and Dad covered those back up. But some of them are in really really nice shape, and um, it's really it's two, really neat to see two those. rooms showing the the hand car hand uh, uh, made beams. Hand -hewn, mm -hmm. Yeah. And Dad was very conscious of keeping the barn original, um, so he's put in, he, with my brother's help, because my brother's a contractor and he did timber framing, went into timber framing, um, they braced it so that the barn is stable because they didn't want to lose that like a lot of barns mm. end up doing. So, so Joellen has lived her entire life there. She's interested in in what we find out, so <laughs> so that's helping us because we're forgetting a lot of things now. That we've. So, okay. Are we doing questions? We'll now? do questions now while well, everybody's fresh in their minds. So if you have any questions, shout away or. Raise your hand and we'll call on you. <laughs> <laughs> when was the trolley there? Um, hmm. 1928. Yeah. To, yeah, it was the 1920s to about the 19, 
40s, right? Yeah, we just looked that up today by, by chance. And Actually, it was like 1908 and 1906. It was pretty early. Um, I have some pictures of the, the trolley line, the little 